Hey guys, welcome back to the server. We had small technical difficulties. For whatever reason, sometimes it just decides that it doesn't want us to be on the server, and then it kicks us off. We have to restart Minecraft. Um. Oh, and there's one. And my sword's broken. Okay. I'm not getting kicked. You just left and came back. Okay. It shows you're here. But it's not letting me stay in. It keeps bouncing me out. Nope, oh, engineer. Damn. Found you. Well, everybody has issues with the game sometimes. Yeah. Watch now the subscribe. And it's still not, I'm still not in it. Oh, well, I was able to TP to you. Huh? I was able to TP to you. Where are you? Uh, by the campfire. No, I walked over to a campfire. You were in your room when I TP'd you. Okay, yeah, I'm unable to stay You in the game. came back and, or you left and came back. What? You left and then came back, so. Well, um, you are by the campfire now, I see you. Yep, you're all good. Yay, I'm back in the game. Yay, okay, I'll take this with the four sticks. I'll take those sticks. Hmm? The Fletcher. Which one of the three? The one with the stupid hat. Huh? This one right here. He has the uh, target and the arrow in front of his thing. Oh, he picked that up. Yeah. You know, if I was a smarter person. I know. It's okay, you know. Sometimes we all go full retard. Ooh, you made an advancement. What a deal. What stuff? Just go over here and look at this one. No, I'm not interested in that. Where's the guy that gives me, um... Nope, don't care about redstone. You know, I'm going to ignore the fact that you just said you don't care about redstone. <laughs> what? I'm just laughing at you. Okay, so I'm gonna get one at... And because YouTube comments are just... YouTube comments, I guarantee there's going to be people going, I don't care about redstone either, just because. You know, it's not that I don't care about redstone specifically. I can use it. I have used it. I've actually made some cool stuff with redstone. But it's not my end-all, be-all of play. I like playing and just building. And, yeah. I mean, I, I realize it's not the thing that you do, because if I had my way, we both know that there would be massive tunnels throughout the entire city with all sorts of crazy redstone lines going around and with one central lever system that would work all the gates, it would work everything. He's a redstone person. I like building tunnels. I have actually built like entire railways. Okay. Let's see here. So I want to put the, yeah, I want to leave it two block alleyway. I kind of want to stagger this, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, is there something here that you were, you know, working with? Should I just, you know, mine this out now? Oh my god. <sighs> 
Uh, someone's a little grumpy. <laughs> yeah. Hold on a sec. Oh, hey, there's a wandering trader. You run after the wandering trader. I'm going to run over here and grab some. What do you sell? Uh, allium, brown dye, bucket of puffer fish, okay. blue dye. You, sir, have a deal. One second. You sound different. I didn't know that. What? No, the wandering trader has a different uh, nose noise. Yeah, the rest of them are a little more deep, and he's a little more. Ah, so ha. And the only reason I can make that noise is because I have a mat gigantically huge nose that you know. Three, four, five, six. Oh, I will. I have full sprint run at people at stores. <laughs> Look at my wares! Oh, I've scared. I've scared people shitless. It's great. Okay. Here. Just so that way we don't have uh, mom get a little annoyed and wondering what this is going to be and try to tear down this building. Oh, are you gonna label things for me now? Here, I give you the gift of uh, water. All right, fine. Wow, that was that was rude. You just hit me with water and hurt me. Can you just go away and go build your own thing? And leave me alone. Like build in the hole that you made. I I gave you water for the sugarcane farm. But you I don't like my gift. What, did you accidentally turn off your recording? No, it's not anywhere near where I was pressing. Now I keep hitting the escape button instead of the E button to open up my inventory. And you yeah. keep hitting escape instead of E. Yes. Okay. And I don't know why, but you know. That's okay. You know what? I'm not judging. Hey guys, so first off I just really want to apologize for this episode. So I think for this episode and a couple, um, the next few coming out, I will admit I got a little lazy and I just kind of decided to record in bulk. And then I figured, you know, I could do cuts and things like that that would uh, look good in the post-production. And then I realized during post-production that in fact, a lot of things don't really look that good unless I actually take the time during the video to plan it out and go, okay, great, this is where I want to cut, this is where I want to time-lapse, this is where I want this, this, and this. So I wanted to apologize for kind of just my general laziness in that. Next time I will definitely make sure to, or once I get caught up on my videos and my editing, I do want to actually make sure that I pay more attention to that and practice good recording etiquette. But also, if you guys are wondering, you know, why is it taking so long to make these videos? Why are they, why is it taking forever for them to come out? Um, that's because editing takes quite a while. 
So I think it takes about for one half hour episode that after it's done recording and everything else, it takes about six to seven hours to render and everything else because the, rec the editing software that I use, it renders it in HD, at least that's the setting that I have it on. So it will render it really, really good. And, you know, yes, I realize that I'm rendering Minecraft in HD, but I still want you guys to be able to look at things and go, okay, cool, I can read what's on the screen. I can see the details and things like that, as opposed to having a blurry mess on the screen. Like, for example, this time lapse now would look like a pile of hot garbage, where as opposed to in the HD, you can actually see what's going on. So that's what's going on. And it also takes a while since I'm using a slower internet to actually get things uploaded to YouTube. So I want to thank you guys for your patience in all of that. And then also it takes quite a while to take, because this one episode, I just recorded two and a half hours straight. So I had to trim two and a half hours down into about a half an hour. And I wasn't trying to hit a half an hour episode. I just wanted to trim out all of, basically just trim out all the fat. So I, all you had was all the good stuff and the interesting things. So there's, that's kind of why it's taken so long to get this third episode up. Also, we had to worry about uploading, or at least getting mom's episode also worked on and edited. And since I'm the only one with, record, or with editing software, I had to be the one who edited it. So it's going to take a little while in order to get everything edited and dealt with. So thank you guys again for your patience. Okay, so here we are at the creative testing lab, and this is the system that we're going to be making. Uh, we're going to go for this one right here. So, really compact, tileable design, and hold on. Let me just throw this glass in here. So, flip the system. The guy falls down. Push and weakness. Golden apple. And then guy comes up. Oh hey, he spawns a thing. Alright. This uh, design works just as well. Only problem is the lever flips down. Or the trapper. Actually really basic. You have a sticky piston down at the bottom, you have a regular piston up here, then you have a repeater set to three ticks. Redstone, 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 and redstone. So it's one, two, three, four pieces of redstone, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Total it takes nine redstone dust per um per design. It uses nine redstone. And then that should bud power. Bam. So nine redstone and then one, two, three, four, five, six redstone there. So actually you save one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh sorry, seven redstone. Seven redstone there. and six redstone on the other, so. All right, so I wanted to time-lapse this bit just because building the um, villager trade areas, at least the drop-down redstone portion, gets really tedious and honestly really boring. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I got bored while um, building them, but they needed to be done. So I just grinded away. I ended up putting in some music while I did that. And so that's another, that's another reason why I, uh, 
time lapse because of copyright. I didn't feel like getting flagged for copyright issues just because I had music going on in the background while I was building away. So, there. But the designs aren't really that difficult. Um, anything, any conversations that happened during this was basically just talking about the iron farm that we're going to get to because iron is kind of a precious commodity, especially in a world, in any Minecraft survival world. So having a iron production area is definitely something that you should look into. So, um, we will get to the iron farm eventually, and I want to make it close enough to the base to where it's actually able to be loaded up in a general, at, le at least most of the time. So, we can go over and check occasionally that there's iron, that there's um, poppies as well, because I'd also like to get a bee farm going. Because slime and honey are two really important things, especially once we get the gate actually built. I can make a flying machine to open and close the gate, which I think it takes about three seconds to open or close. So there's that. And it's honestly not that bad of a system. It's a, Our gate's going to end up being a 3x3 three three door that's going to slide into place and the door will drop down and then it'll pop back up once the uh, doors stop moving. Or once it's open, the door will pop up. The second that the door moves, it'll pop down so that way the slime block and honey blocks don't grab the floor and mess the system up. Um, I do want to get the trade hall actually done soon so that way I can have an actual safe area for our villagers because I don't know about you guys but having the villagers kind of out in the open to where they can be gotten by zombies by baby zombies or any or even pillagers it just doesn't seem like that great of an idea but due to us trying to get still working on everything and getting everything set up that's just one of the things that's going to have to be put a little on the back burner at least for a little while, because we are trying to sleep through the night as much as possible, and the more we sleep through the night, the less that there is um, anything going on, at least on the zombie front. Um, we do have that cave that we will be getting to in a little bit, but the mine we'll actually work on a little later in the episode. And it's not that bad. I do want to get a zombie, um, like an actual zombie spawner XP farm going on. And that would definitely help us once we get the mending enchantment. Um, but what would help us even more would be the gold farm idea. Which also, in six days as of recording this, so on June 23rd, Minecraft 1.16 will be coming out, which means that any and all gold farm designs using the zombie pigmen will be obsolete, which is really sad because for anyone that's played Minecraft for a long time, pigmen are the big thing. You know, they are the nether mob. They, so it's going to be kind of weird going into the nether and not seeing the zombie pigmen. I mean, the pigman kind of looks like a pigman, but it's not the same thing. I mean, I kind of wish that they had at least kept the pigman there and just changed up the spawning algorithm or something. Because having no pigman whatsoever anymore is just... It's really sad. So, um, I will admit that editing and recording-wise, we are a little backlogged. Um... We ended up taking a weekend and recording, I want to say, six to eight hours a day on that weekend. And so we did get the gold farm worked on. We did 
all of that, and all of that will be coming out as soon as humanly possible. Um, I'll be taking a trip here in the next few weeks, and hopefully I'll actually have some quick internet to where I can edit all of this stuff as soon as possible, and then as soon as I'm able to publish things, I will sit down and I will produce, or I will publish as many things as possible, just so that way you guys can have the content. Um, I feel bad that I'm not able to publish my content as fast as I'd like to, but that's an internet issue. I live out in the middle, middle of nowhere and I'm stuck with using my phone hotspot to upload. And so anyone that uses their phone hotspot knows that that is, I mean, it's really slow. I mean, you've got slow as a snail, basically. So thank you guys for your patience in the uploading process and just the producing process as well. But as soon as I'm able to, I will upload more. Okay, well, can I give you my emeralds then? You can, uh, yes. Because I need the stuff and I'm going to go mining for you. And I can yeah. do it when I do that. Kind of you need um, an iron pickaxe, though, for gold. Well, I do have iron that I can smell. Well, my here, hold on. I have iron for you. I can give you, I'll give you two iron pickaxes. Let's see, did I put it in this one? Uh, Where's... Where's your emeralds? Where's my iron? Did you take my iron? Yeah, I smelted it up. Oh, okay. See how you are. Do you want the emeralds? Yeah, I'll trade. We get a. I have 16 emeralds. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm next to the toolsmith. Oh, well. Oh, he's hiding from you. He doesn't want to get hit again. Abusive people. You didn't throw them far enough to me. All right, I'll stand right here in between you and the emeralds. Can you just? Okay. Don't look directly down. Look out. Thank you. Thank you. Just assault me with fucking abusive. I feel like a dealer, I swear. You know. Hey kids, you need some picks? You know, I uh I don't think that's enough picks. Why not? Did I get them all? Nope, I didn't. I did have enough green in my inventory. Yeah, you know. Well, you didn't specify. Yeah, I told you there was three picks over there. There's a dog. Oh, that dog? Oops. Well, you didn't say it was your dog. Yes. If or I also found the a cave in there. Uh -huh. 
at the bottom of the stairs. So, if you don't mind utilizing that. Where is the... oh. Hello. oh, watch out. Ah, no, 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 puppy. Puppy, no, puppy, no, puppy, no. Dog, leave me alone. Your dog jumped in my way and is now trying to kill me. understand that. I'm not, I refuse to lose 24 levels to your dog. I am sorry if my dog killed you. My dog is now the Yeah, but at least a section of this is already lit up. Okay. I'm going to try conquering this area here now. safe. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where I was. Um, in the mine? There, don't make TV to me. Oh, okay. I'm right next to it. There you are. Watch out for the creeper. One? Okay, here's the thing. I have played on this world before, right? 
I have conquered this cave before. I know there's not a skeleton spawner in this uh, area. Why are there so many damn skeletons? Okay. We're going to stand here and we're going to regen for a minute. 